Excuse me. Excara. Can you handle the speed of the rainbow? We're gonna find out. Ooh, very rainbow. I already like this. Oh God, speed, rainbow speed. It's happening. This is indeed rainbow speed. I actually really like it though. Oh God, what am I doing? I'm not used to my flight sensitivity. <laughs> <gasps> Alternate path, you say? I'm interested. What is this? Ah, portal. That's fun. Uh oh. Yeah, I, I, I dig the aesthetics on this. Oh, I did not like that second booster position right before the jump. That doesn't feel good to me. Do I go backwards, or is this just a very similar spot we're going through? Oh, there's... Okay, no, it's not the same spot. Huh. <laughs> speed indeed. That is absolutely a high-speed map. <laughs> uh, I want to play it in another time or two. It's a little wonky to navigate with the speed, and I feel like I feel like most of the boosters are actually placed fine, but there was definitely one that I was like, ooh, I actually really don't like where that was placed. That felt mean and unnecessary. Oh, jeez. It was an interestingly technical course. Definitely a fan of the aesthetics. Oh man, that checkpoint's brutal. It sends you so far back. My flight sensitivity is so weird to get used to, and I'm not ready for that. There is a little bit of uh, not getting proper warning for obstacles and having to essentially memorize placement because of the extreme speed. There are some of these things that it's like the pop-ups if you're not... Oh god, what am I doing? Hold up. It's like some of the pop-ups if you don't already know where they are ahead of time. You hit a speed ring and you're just dead before you even see them. Because there's no way for you to correct in time. Which is not something I'm a fan of, but I think that's going to be kind of hard to avoid while still doing the level in this style and using pop-ups. I feel like it's not as offensive in this level, especially since it's like, you know, you already kind of have to be preparing for stuff in way more in advance because of how fast you're going. But there are a few places where I'm like, eh, I don't like that so much. But I do like the level overall. I'm gonna play it one more time. Rainbow speed! Oh yeah! And I handle the speed of the rainbow a little bit. I didn't die yet. This one landing in this booster is a little rough. Oh no, we're going right at the end. Okay, that's a big shortcut. Almost too big of a shortcut. That's almost one of those ones that feels a little disappointing. Like, man, I skipped like the whole level. I want to play more of the level. <laughs> that's like the fun kind of gimmick level. Like, it's definitely, there's definitely a degree of gimmicky in that because of just the nature of the way it plays, but. It's a fun one with a cool aesthetic. <laughs> roads. What would be the roads? See Windows Distance Start Roads.exe. Oh, okay. 
reverse for a shortcut. Why do I not trust you? That looks like writing. It's a middle finger. You just got pranked. <laughs> there you go. Oh, everything's made out of roads. <laughs> you know what? All right. <laughs> Oh god, but where do I go? When everything is roads, where do you drive? <laughs> I'm guessing up here. Do I have wings? I don't have wings? Uh-oh. Maybe I just go, like, at, further out than I thought it was. Let's try and get to this. Oh god, nope, I messed that up. It's like this feels like it might go somewhere. These are all like the same copied S bend with the loop around it segment. There's probably a lot of copy and pasting, but if that's the case, it's actually used a regular fairly well to design a, an, a somewhat relatively interesting environment that still feels kind of varied. Like, I, I can obviously see where a lot of stuff is repeating. I think we're supposed to go around it. Okay, you know what? Let me try to do this in a way that's like... Try to follow the roadway. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh! We've lost it! We've lost it! Ah! Come on. Come on. Okay. Let's try and get back to our road. Path among the world of roads. This doesn't look too bad, but I can still screw it up. Oh, and there's no checkpoints, are there? God damn it. <laughs> Something tells me that this is not a particularly serious level. Uh oh, what am I doing? Uh, okay. <laughs> Suddenly realized I did not have a proper plan for making that. is not a good place to be when you make that realization. <laughs> it's like, hold up, I actually have no idea what I'm doing. Uh-oh. 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 Uh, 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 uh. <gasps> now, I can, I can do this. Uh, okay. Uh-oh. Oh, I can still screw this up, too. <laughs> Is the caution tape the end? Please be the end. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I mean, that was kind of interesting. I don't know if I can actually call it a good level. I think I got to be neutral. And I don't actually want to play that again, so I'm going to not. <laughs> kind of a fun idea, though. Props are making the entire level out of road. Weird map indeed. That is, yeah. That is not wrong at all. Forest Realm by DK. I am actually not super hesitant about this because, well, DK is, I believe, a relatively classic realm maker. I actually liked most of their recent stuff, so. This is probably not gonna go do anything too crazy, but I think I will actually be an enjoyable experience, so we'll see. That's what my expectations are. <laughs> Of course, the classic realm start, which you know it's fine because we have the skip tech incorporated. All right, visuals are pretty already. I like, I like what I'm seeing. I like the design for that uh, checkpoint. The very big mushrooms. Oh god. Okay, I do not explode if I hit those. 
probably, no, I actually don't explode from the water either, but it does mess with your handling. But you know, fair enough. Ah, that was a alternate route shortcut up there I saw. Right, caves. I actually really like the aesthetic of this. This feels like a good level already. It seems like there's an alternate route with a lot more jumping on it involved too. I shall have to replay to see. Big circular wall right? Oh yeah, do we have jumping? We have that. We actually even have wings. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That was, you know, that one's on me. Oh, God. <laughs> Trees in the track. Trees in the track. <laughs> actually, I want to go back. So I'm like, how, how much warning do we get on those? Can we see them through the leaves? Because I was off track, so I can't rightfully judge that. But I'm a little concerned that that might be too much of a blind hazard. No, that actually doesn't feel bad. You don't really get much warning, but I think you get enough. That didn't feel particularly hard to avoid. I think that's actually fine. Does grass mess with my handling too much? No, not really. We got a good checkpoint to kind of guide us in this. Okay. I'm not sure if there's another route through here, but there's a there's still a easy to find marked route. While we were driving largely blind, it's more of a thematic thing. Do I need to... Oh, no. I was like, am I supposed to be going... Oh, wait, there's a road up there. So, yeah, this is like a shortcut thing, I guess. It did look like the... Oh, God, everything's on fire. I was not expecting this. I guess it's supposed to be the forest on fire? Almost looks like factory columns. Oh, jeez. That's a... Uh, oh, oh. Hmm. Okay. Neat. Honestly, I'm I'm not super fond of how all the music and stuff cuts out when we get the annoying alarms at the end of them. Like, I, I understand why it is, thematically. Uh... Let's play this again. I think I'm probably giving this a thumbs up, but... Let me check some of the alternate stuff. Honestly, I almost felt like the glowing runes on the ring might have been different or new in the Exodrome. I'm not sure if I... I'm just like, I just kind of ignore it because I'm like, it's that thing's been the same for so long that I don't expect there to be anything different or new there. Okay. Let's see where this gets us. Whoa. You know, I need to do a little adjusting to land that line, but it actually transposition works pretty well. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so this is the crossover jumps, isn't it? Oh, only one. And I didn't get the cooldown. Could have, that's kind of on me. That was not as exciting of an alternate route as I was hoping it would be. I thought there was more jumping back and forth over the track, but eh, it was fine. I'm just a little disappointed because I had my own expectations. Maybe that's on me. We do get some nice variation in the visible visuals, like there are some very clearly different feeling areas to this. Alright, so if I don't get that... Hmm. No, that's obviously the way to go, but it almost felt like maybe the other track is actually more of a secret shortcut. And it doesn't feel like it would be an alternate. I don't know. So we'll start off following this. 
keep an eye out for our place to get on the road earlier, because there definitely was one last time, but it was still towards the end. Yeah, because the fact that it crosses zigzags like that is a little funky. Is this the road here? This road here, where does it come from, though? I already see things on fire. Yeah, it looks like we could have taken a road from way further out. Where would we have gotten onto this, though? Does this come from? There's an upper area there. Okay, we're back in the area with the blue, like, glowy sprite things. Huh. Yeah, there's a there's a pretty big alternate route here. Where does it come from though? Oh. Huh. Interesting something I'm not sure I'm going to be able to figure out just from a quick playthrough of this. I like that there's more to discover, though. I kind of want to play that route because it looks, looks interesting to drive on. This part's kind of neat, but it's not, like, super exciting or anything, so yeah, we can actually get on this road here. Ah, uh, just fine. is a nice easy transition to get into there so that's not a big deal even coming from a different angle the visuals are pretty nice I'm actually not sure if I'll, I probably should have seen what happens without that but probably just like you know wings over it ah. again it still has some of the kind of issues where it's like it's a very grounded basic driving racing style, which is not the best in distance, but I would say it's, it's pretty solid realm. I, I did, did actually genuinely like that. And the fact that there's plenty of, you know, alternate route secret hidden things to discover is nice. And I believe that's the last track for today. Let me double check. Or the last new track from the workshop. You know what I mean? <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Ooh. Rhodes actually has an extended description you can't see in the game. It says meme level. Meme level indeed. Did I even look at the description of Forest Realm? I didn't. It's probably like the hard description thing though. Yeah, Lush Rover Realm Realm takes place high above the ground atop a mysterious mountainous floating island. Your drivers will have their sense of direction and reaction times, which the test they attempt to navigate through this maze-like woodland. All while dodging huge falling trees, this realm will test your ability to find and use natural shortcuts. As usual, thanks to Opus for the Excel Drum and some as well as Kenobi for the Excel Charges and Visual Touches. Yeah, I would say this is a, this is a very solid all-around realm there. I'm not sure the description in perfectly fits with it, but that's, you know, it's a pretty written description, so I'm actually totally fine with that. <laughs> yeah, apparently I somehow managed to over- it's also by DK, interesting. I actually wasn't aware they really did maps outside the, uh, god damn it. Oh, I want to get me back to the workshop page. I want to see the description. I was going to say, I wasn't aware they really did maps outside uh, Realm stuff, but cool. I want to see the description now. A relatively short journey to the moon. Enjoy the Toho? Oh. Toho oh, uh, related. 1969. Uh, yes, I did not blow up the camera again. Okay, good. <laughs> also, thanks, thanks for pointing that out, because, yeah, I... Interesting that we see a sea road coming inside, inside like that. Yeah, I've, I've looked at this level as a menu. The visuals are kind of cool. I'm kind of blinded. Can't see where the hell I'm going, but at least the road doesn't make me need to. Oh god. Okay, no wings. We do have boost and grip dust. All right. This starting music fits very well with the aesthetics. Feels extremely appropriate. Oh. Uh, I 
NPC commentary. I cannot look at it right now, so give me a minute. Ah, it was short. It was cool looking, though. Also, I have DK on this. Oh, you're... Oh, it stands for draw... Ah, gotcha. I would not have guessed that if you didn't say it. I was finally able to do an intro on your streets. Oh, yeah, glad you could make it. Thanks. I'm... I'm... Wouldn't say I'm the biggest fan of all your tracks, just because I'm not, like, huge on the realm stuff, but I think you make pretty good tracks, so. I would say keep it up, because I do enjoy your tracks. Um, I'm gonna have to play this again. That was surprisingly short. Almost felt like we were just kind of getting into it. But yeah, yeah, it's more of, it's more like a preference thing. Like, honestly, I think if I was, if I was big into the realms, I would probably be like, yo, this is good shit. Where now I'm just like, you know what? These are pretty decent. I like them. This track definitely uh, keeps it going, I'll say that. This ending is a little weird. It's not bad, it just feels like, huh. I don't really expect that. It feels a little bit off as an end, but... The rest of the track is pretty good, like, I don't know. I just, I just like the visuals and the theming and stuff on this, I think, make it work. <laughs> uh, let me go through this once more, just because you know what's short and I can. <laughs> is there anything special about going over here? Let's find out. Oh, um, no. Okay, no, no, I don't, I don't think this is a hidden route. I think it's more for the visuals, which is fine. That That's allowed. <laughs> Now I am going to see what's behind me. The answer is nothing! It is mapped mostly just as a way for me to test reflections and stuff. It's definitely testing reflections and stuff, I'll tell you that. And I, I did like it as a menu, too. It, it's got, you got some nice visuals going on here. The beginning's a little blinding, but I think it's relatively okay, because it's like, I can see enough, and it's not... The way the track works, it's not actually impeding me from playing it. <laughs> yeah, it's just a big glass road. Yeah, it's, it's a little too short for me to be like, yeah, this is like a really good track, but I think for what it is, it's, it's not bad. And yeah, again, thanks for pointing out that I missed that because I, I meant to play it last week, but I somehow totally overlooked actually playing the track and not just looking at the menu version. So thanks. Um, yeah. Let me see.